Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Mark Steiner. Great to have you all with us for our weekly look at the news. And in this segment, we are going to tackle what's happening to progressive politicians in this country. The right is threatening people with death in some of their tweets and more against several congresswomen, especially women of color in Congress, which we'll talk about. But the story that's not being told a lot is about the DCCC and the Democratic Campaign Committee that says is trying to stop progressive politicians from challenging established politicians in primaries. What's that all about? Well, we're here once again with Jeff Cohen, who is co-founder of, uh, founder of RootsAction.org, founder of the media watchdog group Fairness and Accuracy in Reporting, and author of Cable News Confidential, My Misadventures in Corporate Media, and Jacqueline Lukeman, who is editor-in-chief of Lukeman Nation and a regular contributor to The Real News. And just jump into this right away. And, and this piece, let me just read this piece here that we have. They have a form from the DCCC that came out that you have to sign if you are going to do any kind of work with the DCCC or any candidates. And in this one segment, it says, I, they have to sign this. I understand the above statement that the DCCC will not conduct business with nor recommend to any of its targeted campaigns any consultant that works with an opponent of a sitting member of the House Democratic Caucus. And that's what they have to sign, threatening vendors and threatening people who are consultants and more. And Jeff Cohen, you're smiling, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is so offensive. I mean, the, some of the exciting members of Congress, they got in there by challenging incumbents. AOC challenged an incumbent in New York. Ayanna Presley challenged an incumbent in Massachusetts. Ro Khanna, who's a great progressive uh, in his second term, he challenged an incumbent. So you have Sherry Bustos, the head of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, telling consultants if they work with these challengers, they will be punished, they will be blacklisted. And what's interesting is Sherry Bustos of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, the DCCC, she doesn't tell consultants, hey, if you work for the pharmaceutical industry, we won't give you business. If you work for the oil or coal industries, we won't give you business. It's just if you work for a progressive challenger, you won't get business from the Democratic leadership. It's stunning and it's revealing. So let's talk about what the, the, the stunning and revealing issue around this and, and what this really means. So what... What is the dynamic going on here? I mean, we understand that you know, the, the, the corporate control of the party and what happened in the last election and shutting down progressives and shutting down the, uh, Bernie Sanders and, and during the 2016 election. But progressives have, have taken a huge foothold uh, in, in Democratic Party politics now, and they're pushing hard. So let's talk about what we both, all three of you think, all two of you think, that the, the, uh, the internal dynamics and what's going on here. Well, the internal okay. dynamics uh, are that the DCCC does not want to uh, relinquish power to a bunch of upstart progressives. They are trying to maintain power. They're also trying to maintain uh, uh, the corporate um, money flow. Uh, uh, coming. Not all incumbent House members are aligned with big money corporate uh, interests, but too many are. And if we haven't learned by now, um, corporate interests usually run counter to the interests of the people. So what this really means, why this is so, shock so shocking to me, is that the DCCC is limiting the exposure for voters of candidates who might be better, who they might like more than the incumbent candidates who 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 don't who they feel aren't doing enough for them and certainly aren't supporting progressive policies. That's why this is shocking to me, because it looks like the DCCC is limiting the choice of voters. And why do you think, Jeff, they feel a threat? Oh, because the uh, progressives, especially these young women of color in Congress, are raising hell, becoming popular, have huge social media, uh, you know, followings. Um, but I, I believe, you know, it's important to, to point out that the Justice Democrats have, uh, the progressives, have just put out an email where they said that the DCCC in the first quarter of 2019 raised $400,000 or more from corporate lobbyists and bundlers. And Jacqueline made an important point. 90% of the Democratic districts are true blue. They're, they're uncontested. They will always be Democratic. You could run a blue dog in November and the Democrats would win. So if constituents don't have an opportunity to choose between two candidates in the primary, they have no role 
in congressional elections. So it really does shut out the voters. And that's the goal of the corporate wing of the Democratic Party. They're afraid of the voters. So what is you what do you both think this means in terms of the power of the progressive movement and where it's going? I mean, there are a lot of progressives who've lost in the, these primaries, fought very hard campaigns, but lost. Number of one, you're seeing the battle take place in the state Senate in New York right now um, around Cuomo, t- saying he was really upset with people who were uh, running in these ch- primary challenges and want to oppose them. Battles taking place in their caucus. So this is had falling down to the states as well. So something's afoot here. And I want to get very quickly, if you could give your analysis of well, what do you think is afoot politically? Jeff? I think that the progressives are showing that they don't need the corporate money, that they can get online small donations from lots of donors. And that scares the hell out of the leadership of the Democratic Party, which has relied so heavily on corporate donors. There's a civil war going on in the Democratic Party, and the progressive candidates and politicians are with the base. And the corporate Democrats are increasingly isolated and fearful. Jacqueline? That's absolutely true. That's absolutely correct. I can't add anything to that. Well, we'll be keep, stay on top of this story. I think it's a really important story and look forward to interviewing a lot of people who are involved in, in progressive politics in this country to really get into this, understand the depth of this and where this could be taking us. We're here with Jacqueline Lookman and Jeff Cohen. And in our next segment, we are going to take a look at the power of Stephen Miller and the rise of nationalist power inside the Trump administration and what that means. And I'm Mark Snyder here for The Real News Network. Don't miss the next segment. <laughs> 